Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to make a medieval hatchet. It helps to work from an image with a hatchet. It's a pretty strange shape. So I have one right there. Let's go to the top view. Let's put it in position. Okay, you could do this with polyline, like I did the sword tutorial, but let's make this one with cylinders, just for uh, do something different. Uh, let's put one down, and it's a little bit tall. Scale down, and move it in position in the center okay so this one should be a really flattened one so let's create a flattened cylinder like this Then click its spacebar for a copy and we make one over here that is more rounded. Like that. And click spacebar creates another copy. And it's going to be for the main blade. Scale. Scale it like this a little bit. There we go. We don't need the image anymore. Grab that one, make it a little, scale it down a little bit. We want it to be uh, less of a height than the other ones. About that much. And while it's still selected, control click that one and subtract it. And then control click that other one, subtract it. Okay, we have the beginning of a hatchet blade. I would want to just work with half of it, so let me cut off half. Let's have a hel uh, helper object, snap the grid, and put it like that. and move it down then click the hatchet and control click the that one and subtract I want to have some definition here so I can color it and I'll do that with uh, knifing points in. A knife works two different ways. If you just double click somewhere you create a new point. If you click in the point or on the line somewhere and then double click somewhere else you create a line. So click, double click, creates a line, click Double click creates a line. I want a, a point in between here. Double click. Double click here. Click here. Double click there. Click there. Double click there. And click there. And double click there. Let's adjust it a little bit. I'm going to have it like that, that one, move them, that one. That one, move it a little bit. This one, move it. Okay, now go to polygons, click in the plane to deselect, click that one, control click that one and that one and merge them. Now we can give the blade a color. So objects, give it a light gray, 
and polygon that one and give the darker gray okay and you can still adjust it a little bit if you want you can move the points some more if you don't like the area the shape of the area there we go that's pretty good let's go to edges and make the edge of the blade control click the other ones that you want and it is 27 high so let's move those edges relative minus 27 <clears throat> now we have to adjust some more points so I'll go back to points and start adjusting the the blade and you can work on this as much as you want So you're basically molding the blade to your satisfaction. Okay, starting to look pretty good. So when you're happy with the blade, go back to object, make it sit in the plane. Place on the grid. Oh, first you have to reset it. Place it on the grid. Now we are ready to mirror it over the Y. Control click the second one while this is selected. Control click that one and merge them. And then select that one and mirror it over the red one. The Y the X. And while this is selected, control click that one and merge them. Okay, you can still mess with it. Uh, scale down a little bit. Like that. Looks better. And I used uh, cylinders. Remember the cylinders? They were 16. Uh, you can use cylinders with 32. You just get more lines and it takes more uh, work to shape the blade. Okay, looks pretty good this let's give it a uh, handle so cylinder move it rotate it over the Z and put it in position like that if you want to lengthen it a little bit go to polygon select the end and move it so you can uh, adjust it let's create a, a knob on the end sphere move it position it 
cheap it. And then click it, spacebar creates a copy. And we want to have that one scale it down like that. Let's work on the handle a little bit more. The handle here. Let's put some edge rings in. So edge, insert, and click on the edge, and then you can make edge rings. So click on that edge ring. Click on it, edge ring. Let's move them in a little bit, scale them a little bit. And you do that with polygon. Click a polygon and then go next to it and hold Control, Shift and double click. Mix an edge, a ring for uh, with the polygons. And you can scale that like that so click in the plane to deselect click there control shift double click and click there next to it control shift double click Oop, not too much anyway you can sort of make a handle go in a little bit let's see Go to objects, click this one and this one and give it a gold color. And then click the handle and give it a really dark brown color. The handle is a little bit thick. I want to like that and then go back to yes objects and move this one a little bit. Oops, not that one. Move that one. And I want to make it a little bit longer. Um, we want to have this one polygon anyway mess with it till you like it there you go medieval hatchet Thanks for watching. You can watch more tutorials at figaro.io.